today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make easy Instant Pot French Dip Sliders. Now this is a very easy meal with a very minimal amount of ingredients. The star of the show is uh, just under four pounds. This is a chuck roast, but you could use a round roast, uh, eye of the round, bottom round, uh, any inexpensive piece of meat because we're going to pressure cook it in an instant pot and it's going to uh, break everything down and make it very tender. So I got some garlic, some thyme, I got an onion that I sliced up, around three cups of beef broth, that's about it. We're going to be doing it on uh, some Hawaiian buns here. I got some provolone cheese. I mean, super easy, super delicious. You let the instant pot do all the work. So stick around, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take your meat and lightly season it with salt and pepper. Now, <clears throat> if I would have gotten the low sodium uh, beef broth, I would have uh, salted it a little bit more. But since I got regular beef broth that's got quite a bit of sodium in it, I'm going to kind of go light here because I don't want to get the everything too salty. Nothing's worse than having something too salty. I'm also going to be putting a little bit of salt with some melted butter on those buns. So I'm just going to season all sides with some ground black pepper and some salt. And you know how that works. I mean, it is a big piece of meat, so, you know, definitely want to put some salt on it. But I'm going to kind of just do a minimal amount here, like that. And some ground black pepper. So I'll go ahead and keep doing this. In the meantime, turn on the saute function on your Instant Pot, because we're going to brown this first before we pressure cook it. Put it on All high. Right. So uh, the Instant Pot just beep, let me know it is hot. I'm just using a little avocado oil. I would recommend uh, something with a little bit higher of a burn point, otherwise you keep getting those burn notices. But we're going to, that looks like enough, like enough there. And now we're just going to brown this meat on a couple sides. Just like that. I'm going to give it maybe three, four minutes. I'll flip it over to the other side. All right, it's been a few minutes. Now we're just going to turn this over. This is going to create some wonderful flavors inside the pot here. All right, so, so we want to just get some flavor on this by giving it a nice brown. Uh, you can do just a couple sides. You can do all four. We're not trying to cook it here. We're just trying to add some uh, flavor to the broth and to this pan. We're going to cook everything in this one pot. So. That's another thing that makes this recipe so easy. So we'll give it a few more minutes. I'll come back, show you the next step. All right, guys, it's been another couple minutes here. I should have probably cut this into a couple smaller pieces. There we go. Few more minutes. Be back in a second. Alright guys, it's been around maybe eight, nine minutes. I flipped it on all sides. Don's gonna remove it. Now you see all this stuff on the bottom of the pan? That's what we want to get here. There's those little bits of flavor. So I'm gonna do a quick deglazing. I got three cups of beef broth. We're going to pour that in there. I'm going to deglaze this here. Try to scrape those little bits off. Give that a second, be back. All right, so now that I got all those bits out, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna pour it back into the measuring cup because now I wanna kinda saute the onion a little bit. 
All right. I'm just going to put one little, one little drop of avocado oil, not too much. And now we're going to throw in, I got around a one and a half of an onion. Got around three cloves of minced garlic. And that's it. Using a, a wooden spoon or spatula, we're just gonna saute this just for a little bit, just so it gets a little bit of color, a little translucent to these onions. Then we'll add the beef stock, the meat, and everything else in there, and yeah, pressure cook. Look how easy this is. Be back in a minute. All right, it's been around maybe six, seven minutes total. This is fine. I just want to get a little bit of a crisp on there. Soften them up a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to add back the beef broth. And right now I'm going to turn off the saute. Because we're no longer sauteing. It's still pretty warm. So again, I'm going to scrape the bottom here with any uh, with a wooden spatula here. Make sure I get all those little flavor bits that were stuck on the bottom off. Okay. Now I'm going to throw in around three, what do you call these, twigs, Monica? Uh, sprigs. Sprigs. Sprigs of thyme. Just going to throw those in. That's going to add some delicious flavor. And now we'll put the big piece of beef back in. Oh, there we go. Look at how easy that is. Let me get the lid and I'll show you what we set it to in just a second. All right. Let's put the lid on here. Make sure, obviously, that it is sealed. So, we're going to pressure cook it on high. And I would recommend 20 minutes per pound. So this was around four pounds. So, 80 minutes. Or one hour and 20 minutes. start there we go so easy it's gonna probably take a good I don't know 15 20 minutes for this to build up pressure and to start pressure cooking and then it'll start counting down and now all the work is gonna be done by the instant pot so how easy is this how simple is this it's a great recipe if you're kind of running on the go you had a busy day with the family you come home throw this all in and yeah we should be eating here probably in uh, around two hours. All right guys, since we have some time, time for a beverage review. I saw this in the store, actually Monica saw it in the store, so uh, I had to try it. Cowbell Cream Ale. If you know that famous Saturday Night Live skit with Will Ferrell and Christopher Walken, need more cowbell. So it actually looks like a, a cow playing cowbell <laughs> from that skit. And this is made from Bloomer Brewing Company. They're around 45 minutes north of where we live here. And uh, I've never tried this. It says amber cream ale that'll ring your bell. More cow bell. 6.5% alcohol. So that's what I'm having. And this is my daughter, Ava Grace. All right. And my son, Kyle. Hello. Now, Ava Grace, it just hit pressure. So now it's counting down. She's having something called Fruit Shoot Berry Burst. 90 calories per bottle made with real fruit juice. So that, that's what Ava Grace is having. I had the fruit shoot before on drink reviews, but not this flavor yet. So And Kyle, Kyle is going to have some dirt soda shoveled and bottled in the USA. <laughs> so I have no idea what this is, but whenever we find a unique, interesting soda or root beer we have to get it for kyle to review <laughs> you looking forward to drinking some dirt <laughs> i can't wait dirt soda dirt soda shoveled right. and bottled in the usa <laughs> <laughs> all right and let's see i think yours is just uh don't worry it's not actual dirt does it pass the smell i don't smell anything well we'll pour it in a glass and see 
So you've got a little sport cup thing here, sport bottle. Just pull it up, and I think you're okay. And let's see what's going on with the more cowbell. You pulled it up already, right? Yeah, I pulled it up, so. Okay. I don't think I've ever had a, like an amber cream ale. Maybe I have. There you go. Oh, it does smell like dirt. Well, this, this should be interesting. It does. Oh. All right, it's got a nice, uh, nice color. I don't really smell anything. All right. You guys ready? Cheers. Cheers. I'm sorry, Kyle. We got that instant pot in your way. I don't think you're going to want to try this one. <laughs> As always, guys, I appreciate you coming by. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Let's give it a sip and tell them what we think. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a regular beer. It's got a little creamy flavor to it, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't really taste alcoholic. Mm. Huh. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to enjoy that. Okay, Ava Grace. Okay, so I taste a lot of, like, various berries in this, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And, uh... I can I can taste grape. I oh. can taste grape in here. There's probably grape in here. Well, there's berry burst, so yeah, it's probably grape. Well, cool. Would you drink it again? Yeah, it's I really like good. I like these low-calorie fruit juices that mm -hmm. are not so full of uh, sugar yeah. that make you, what is it, bounce off the walls? Bounce off the walls. All right, and Kyle. Well. Dirt soda. As someone who spends my pastime shoveling my mouth full of dirt, I I can confirm it does taste like dirt. No, but uh, joking aside, it it's all right. I mean, it's it was the same one with the grass soda. It so tastes That's like interesting. It does have a weird. What is in that? Well, the ingredients are on there, but it's so small I can't even read it. And it's up against this colored background. But it does taste a little bit like dirt. Although, I, you know, I don't know what dirt tastes like. No, I, <laughs> but if, if I had to guess, it'd be close to that. As I just told the camera, I spend all my free time sitting there shoveling mouth, my mouth full of dirt. I just sit there and eat dirt all day. Mm -hmm. So, as someone who eats dirt all day, I can confirm it does taste like dirt. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to enjoy these drinks. We're going to let the Instant Pop do its magic. I'll be back in a little bit, show you how we're going to set up those Hawaiian rolls for uh, these little sliders. French dip sliders. See you later, guys. This All right. good. See you later. All right, I have these Hawaiian sweet rolls. They're the King's Hawaiian sweet rolls. These, uh, I guess they're starting to come already pre-sliced, which is kind of nice. I'll just take one aside just to show you here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put the tops here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Just kind of add a little bit of taste to these. Remember, I didn't salt them very much. So what I'm going to do here, I took a little bit of butter, put it in a little bowl here in the microwave for around 15 seconds. We're going to brush some melted butter on top. And I got my uh, oven preheated to 300 degrees. I'm not going to broil these or anything like that. I'm just going to stick them in there for a few minutes. Kind of get these a little bit toasted. This is the way to take these uh, store-bought buns to the next level. And just for your information, uh, the timer counted down to zero and it's still working on that natural release. We probably should have that in a few minutes here. All right, so now I'm just taking a little bit of kosher salt, not a lot. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. You remember I didn't put too much salt on the beef itself just because I wanted these rolls to have a little bit of a salty crust there you go boom I'm gonna throw this in the oven for a few minutes it's 
kind of get these crispy. Be back in a second. You know what? I just thought since I have a little bit of melted butter left, I'm just going to put some melted butter at the bottom of these. And when the tops are kind of a little bit crispy, I'll put these in. Kind of get them toasted up a little bit. That way they'll be able to handle, since these are kind of soft, they'll be able to handle the beef, especially if it's a little bit wet, you know, from the au jus. So that way, you know, that everything won't collapse and uh, fall apart in your hands. You want the bread or these rolls just to the point where they can hold the meat. Oh man, okay. And if you want, guys, you can put some garlic on this. You want a little garlic butter. I'm gonna put some provolone cheese and I, I'm just gonna put a little butter here. That's all I'm gonna do right now. So there we are. All right, I'll give those uh, tops with the salt a couple more minutes and then we'll come back, we'll throw these in and then, uh, yeah, this, hopefully this will natural release here in the next few minutes, I hope. All right, guys, see you in All a right, second. here they are. They've been in the oven for five minutes. They're still kind of soft, but they're nice and toasty and warm. Now I'm going to just put these aside. I'm going to do the bottoms here, which I buttered up. Be back in a second. All right, guys. Here they are, nice and toasted. I just want them a little firm, like I mentioned, so the juiciness of this beef doesn't turn this into a uh, All right, mush. it has naturally released. Let's take a look and see how this is looking. Uh, always be careful. Give it a second to vent so you don't get steam in your face. All right, there we go. Mm -mm. Man, it smells great. I'm gonna remove this beef put it into a pan, we're going to shred it, and then I'm going to put it back on saute, kind of get this uh, beef broth in here to kind of boil a little bit and reduce down so we can make a delicious au jus. Be back in a second. Alright guys, let's remove this beef and kind of let it drain a little bit, the liquid. It, it, you can see it's still pretty together but it's ready to be shredded because it kind of fell apart a little bit here so like I said I'm going to now turn the instant pot off we're gonna leave the lid off I'm gonna turn it on high saute we're gonna let this au jus come to a boil and reduce down and then uh, we're going to shred this beef be back in a second. Right, guys, here we are. I'm just going to take a couple forks. Look at this. <laughs> here comes Dixie. She can smell it. We're just going to shred this. So I'm going to continue to shred this. Look at this. This is falling apart. That's what the pressure cooking it does. And if you see big flop, uh, big blobs of fat, like right here, Discard that, throw that away. We just want that delicious beef. There's a little bit of fat I'll get rid of. Let's just show you guys there. Hope you can see that. Man, this is good. All right, let me continue to shred this. We'll be back in a minute. All right, here we are. Shredded with some forks. Oh, man. Took out some of the big fat pieces. That's it. I'm just going to set this aside. It's nice and hot. I'm going to reduce down this liquid for the au jus. I'll show you that in a second. All right, here we are. High saute. Just going to stir this. We're just going to let it kind of simmer and, and reduce down. So just let it do its thing. It's going to be delicious au jus. Once this reduces down a little bit, we're going to strain it, and that's going to be a delicious au jus to dip these uh, little mini French dip sliders into. Be back in a minute. All right, this has been going for around 10 minutes, and it's definitely reduced down. So I'm just going to turn it off, let this cool down, cool enough so I can strain it because there's still some onions, a little bit of that thyme I couldn't uh, dish out. So I'll just turn this off. We'll let it cool down. I'll strain it. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so this uh, au jus is cooled down at least enough that I can handle it with some. Uh, pot holders here. I'm just going to strain it because we got some onions and stuff in here 
It, it definitely has reduced down. And look, these onion, onions are delicious. If you want to put this on your sandwich, by all means. I think I might too. Oh. There we go. Let's kind of shake this a little bit. Maybe stir it. There we go. Yeah, if you want to put some of these uh, onions on your sandwich, by all means. There's some onions, some garlic, and a little bit of uh, thyme. Yeah, I'll just let this kind of continue to drip. And I'm going to put it back in the Instant Pot, but I'm going to only put it on like a uh, keep warm, just to kind of keep that au jus nice and warm. Let's get ready to uh, assemble the sandwiches. All right, here we are. We have the au jus. And look, there's a little bit of fat on the top you can see right here. So Monica's going to take a spoon here. We're just going like to try to... Take a soup spoon or a ladle and you look, you just press gently on the top. And you get all that stuff out. I just put a little uh, plastic bag in a coffee cup just to get all the stuff and throw it, seal it and throw it away. I mean, you could uh, let it, you know, put it in the fridge until it gets really hard and scrape it off. But, you know... I don't want to wait that long. I'm hungry. I don't even think that'd be easy, to be honest with you. Well, you could, because it, it would it would cool off with this little line okay, that you could just scrape off. Getting it all off. Here. And then here's uh, reduced out onions and garlic. We removed uh, what is it? Sprigs? The sprigs mm -hmm. of thyme that were in there. You have a hard time with that word. Yeah, I do. But they were all uh, just like twigs, so all the thyme actually fell off. Oh. Now just be careful. So we're going to remove the fat and then we're going to put it back into the Instant Pot just to keep warm. So we'll have a nice au jus to dip these uh, French dip sliders in. Yeah, look at all that fat. Just be very gentle because you don't want to get a lot of the other, see, you don't want to get a lot of the other stuff. Yeah, I can already see there's a difference because the line is has gone down. It was like twice as high. So we'll do this for a few more minutes. Be back in a second. All right, here we are. We're gonna assemble these sliders. So I got some smoked provolone cheese. You can use mozzarella, but I think uh, I think provolone is the right choice here. Don't you think, Monica? Yeah. I guess if you had anything else, you'd be Swiss, but yeah, Swiss could I'd work. I think provolone. Provolone's my pick. Yeah, we're gonna go heavy on the cheese because hey, we live in Wisconsin and we like cheese here. So let's uh, <laughs> let's go heavy on the cheese. Don't use it all. I think there's a lot of it there. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you know what? It's only money. It's only cheese. Oh, man. I'm using one slice per slider. I think that's the perfect. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Even though the slider is smaller, the bun is smaller than the actual slice of cheese. But hey. This one broke up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Two more slices. That's yeah, just about just about done. All right, there we go. We got the cheese. Let's get the beef. All right, so now we're gonna take this beef and I just let you guys know I put it in the oven, 300 degrees, because that's where I'm gonna cook these things at or put the sliders in to warm them up. And look, this is pretty dry. I don't want it too wet because I don't want these buns to get sloppy. So we're just going to put some beef on these things. Oh man. Guys, there you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the tops on here. All right, look at that. So we're just going to put these in the oven 300 degrees just for maybe, I don't know, 
10, 15 minutes just to warm Here up. Here we are. Get fresh out of the oven. Oh man. These are nice and toasty. I got some uh, au jus that we reduced down there. Let me go get Monica. We'll sample these in just a second. All right, welcome back. I'm here with my wife, Monica. Hi. We have a uh, half the amount I made. Now we're gonna put some horseradish into our au jus or you could spread it on oh, a yeah. sandwich. Well, or both. <laughs> we love horseradish, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. This is Wisconsin Bucky Badger style, flaming hot. Okay, flaming hot. It's, where is it made? Oh, it's made, I think, probably. Somewhere uh, here. Verona. Verona. I don't know Verona, where, I'll have to look up where that yeah, is. I don't know where that is, but. It's not near us, so it's probably on the east side. We of got Wisconsin. another company where we live known for that Silver Springs. They're supposedly one yeah. of the biggest uh, horseradish. And you know what? Can I put some in yours? Yeah, please. Okay. Silver Spring, we actually uh, buy a lot of their stuff. Mustard and they have no, a... No, they have a they horseradish have, mustard that's really and good. And they have a cranberry horseradish mustard, which I absolutely adore. Right, I'm going to put that there. Okay, so I got some au jus for both of us. There's no easy way to do this. Let's just like pull these apart, hey, okay? I'm down. They're a little sliders. You ready? Pull my sleeves up and let's do this. I got a napkin here. You got a napkin. Okay, let's go. All right. Oh, it's warm. I think I'm overdressed for inside, but it's oh, sub zero outside. Look at that melted cheese. Oh, wow, okay. that looks so good. All right. There we go, guys. And of course, here, you grab one. Yeah, just pull one apart. I love these Hawaiian. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. That's that good smoke provolone. Oh, yeah. oh, you left a lot of it outside. Well, there you go, so. guys. Easy okay. instant pot. French dip sandwiches. Sliders. Sliders. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're sliders. Sliders. Okay. Let's Easy go. instant pot French dip sliders. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's go for it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. That horseradish, I can taste it. A little mm -hmm. kick. Wow. Mmm. Wow. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say. I mean, put in the salt. Uh, made on a the difference. top with melted butter, it, it gives did. it that little I agree. savory, salty. Not too much. Not too much. Because you were mindful the rest of the recipe not to overdo the salt. So that. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. And look, guys, you saw how easy it is to make this. You can also make it a slow cooker. You don't have to make it in this pot. Slow cooker is going to take you, you know, six, eight hours. This only takes a couple from, you know, pressurizing and natural release. But man, just as good, huh? And, but you don't have to do anything while it's cooking, so. No. Mm. This is great for entertaining. Really good. Really easy to make, especially if you have a bunch of people coming over. You yeah. cook it all in one pot, the instant pot. Yeah, you saw how easy it was. Basic ingredients, man. I wish I had an Instant Pot years earlier when my friend would tell me, my wow. friend, she would tell me constantly, you need an Instant Pot. Okay, I'll say it, Julie, because now I'm going to tag her. But seriously, she would say, you need an Instant Pot. How do you not have an Instant Pot? Mm. And I was like, I don't know. But when I finally got one, I, I had to like message her and tell her, oh my gosh, I don't know how I lived without one. Man. This is amazing. If you don't have an Instant Pot, do it. Perfect little finger food for the game. Man, very good. Another winner. Totally another winner. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I can see this in our future when we have people come over too for game, game night. Oh yeah, you can. You this can. This is one of the few things I do my like stuffed jalapenos in the oven. You do this, you know. Well, you don't even have to make sliders. You can make nachos. You can make tacos. You can make burritos. Mm -hmm. Anything with this. Mm -hmm. Beef recipe, super easy. You know, yeah. And by the way, the slider is good even not dipping it. It's perfect. If you don't want to deal with the au jus, you have people over, whatever. This is good. Save the au jus for yourself. <laughs> exactly. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. This logo on my shirt is the logo on the bottom corner of the screen. If you mm -hmm. click on that, it'll allow you to subscribe to my channel, which I would greatly appreciate. It really helps my channel grow. And uh, I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokeandbarbecue.com, where I have all my recipes. Go check it out. Thanks for stopping by. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy these I'm delicious like, French dip sliders, man. And that au jus, huh? Mm -hmm. Perfectly, mm -hmm. man. It's so delicious.
Mm. Yeah. This is good. We're going to be enjoying this. Oh. Mm. Another thing is that I do not enjoy normally Hawaiian sweet bread. We never buy that. But this time we did it for this recipe. You and it, is a, it goes perfectly with this recipe. And I think putting the salt on it takes a little bit of sweetness away. So little, if you use blend. regular buns, I don't know if it would taste exactly. Maybe it would be better. Maybe it would be worse. Mm. I don't know. But this is amazing. Very good. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, once guys. again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I'll take what I lost. Oh my, oh my gosh, there's mm -hmm. so much of it. Ah, oh. oh, I just made a mess. No, you did. Yeah, I did. I guess I gotta clean that up. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.